The Lagos Badagri Expressway is undergoing major repair at the Matu section of this project. This road infrastructure has been a major concern for commuters applying this corridor for several months. The bad condition of this road before now didn't just only inconvenience commuters but creates discomfort and endanger the lives of those applying this road. The flooding that occurred at the second quarter of 2024 created these damages on the main road. To ease the suffering and reduce the amount of travel time people spend on this road, the government are coming up with solutions that I personally I appreciate. Seeing this, I felt no, I have to share with my audience because I was here when this road was bad. Now it's again attention. You deserve to know. This is a solution I observe the government has taken to ensure this section of the road gets better and commuters will have better experience. Yeah, as you can see, this is what I saw at that section. In fact, let me tell you everything I saw there. There's a roadblock sending traffic to the service lane since the toll lane is a particular lane where major work is currently going on. The major cause of this road damage is flooding. Hence, the contractors have to clean up the gutters. As you can see, they brought out the gutter cover and clean it up. This is what is observed going on here. Don't worry, I will still get close. Let's take this as an area view. I will still get close so you see everything. They've done excavation work, blinding and casting is currently ongoing at that section. This is what the project look like from the area view. Let me know in the comment section if you'd like me to take you around when it's completed. This is what the road look like before this current repair going on right now. If you look closely, you will see how people suffer on this particular road. So this is me applauding the government for work well done. Like, like I'm very impressed with a swift response. Legosians, me myself, we've complained about this particular part of Badagri Express and here they are taking action. Kudos to Lagos State Government and let us know your thoughts about this project in the comment section. Now, let's have a closer view of what's going on on the Badagri Express at the Matu section of this project. This is Matu Doba Junction. Hi guys, I'm currently at the Matu area of uh, Badagri Expressway. Please, you can support this boy by buying us coffee. This will help us to fund our next project. Thank you, and let's dive right into the video. This section of the project is undergoing rehabilitation by Lagos State Government. Before now, Negotiants, Nigerians applying this road go through hustle. You no, know, this road was very, very, very bad. But right now, right now, this is what is currently going on here. As you can see, this is heading towards to, this is heading towards Maza Maza area, and this is Toba Junction, and this is what is currently going on here. As you can see, they've casted the, the first layer, and this is what you can see going on here. As you can see, at this point, before now. Like, major reason why this road is bad was because of flooding. So to tackle that issue, they had to bring all these things out. They had to bring all these gutters out, clear the gutters. And right now, it's cleared up and everything is covered back. And they're currently casting um, the, the road, as you can see. This is what we have going on here. This is what we have going on here. So, this is a double junction. And right there, that is mile two. Alright, so this is what we have going on here. I will still take it to my two so, so you see what they are doing there. So I believe in few months time this, this, this thing will be, will, will be cleared up. But to make sure traffic is flowing, they opened as you can see. So all, this is the toll lane. Why this is the service lane? So you can see all vehicles going to Badakri and other places, other, other part of Lagos are applying the service lane and they open this part where they will connect back to the toll lane and continue. So this is what is currently going on here and this is actually impressive. The reason why I'm making this documentary 
I'm making this video, our follow-up update on this road is to shout the Lagos State Government because they came through for Lagos Chance. This particular road here has been in a very bad shape for, for the past three months now. And for them to come in with this um, solution, this shows how committed, how committed they are to serving Lagos. And for them to even consider uh, clearing up these uh, drainage systems and making it free to avoid future occurrence because one of the reasons why this road is, is, is even better in, in, in the first place was because of the last flooding that took place here in Lagos. That is one of those. And for that, they didn't just um, some few and do um, and poor asphalt. They are now casting the road to ensure it's more stronger than it used to be. And this is a, a big one from Lagos State Government. So I'm giving them a big shout out and the contractors at um, CCECC, at the China Civic Engineering Construction Company, that the one um, in charge of this particular project as you can see, this is what we have going on at the double junction, heading towards uh, my two area. I want to also take this opportunity to call on Lagosians and all women in Nigerians, please take environmental sanitation very serious. Ensure you don't litter, don't, don't throw anything on the gutter because when you do that, this is what happens. Please ensure you keep your surroundings clean, dispose of your waste bins properly. This will help us to avoid future occurrences like this and reduce the expenses. You know, when these things were in bad shape, of which I'll play the video for you, so you see what me and you go through on this road. Who are those suffering the effect of these things? It's a common, it's me and you. When you litter the gutters, when you fail to dispose your waste bins properly, when the effect comes, will be the end um, consumers of the whole effect. Please, do your part. Do your part. Do your part. It's important. This is a double junction. As you can see, so, um, as you can see, the gutter I cleared up and the casting continues from these parts. That is the uh, sand smoke before the, before the casting. Okay. The okay. That is sand, sand cement. Sand cement. Yeah, cement with uh, sand mix. It's not it's the raw cement. As you can see, um, that one is strong. That's the casting. As you can see, the people are not casting on top. As you can see, um, I'm trying to make me understand that the, what, what, what I've seen before us is, is called sand cement. Mixed with the no, sand mixed with the north cement. I guess to me, this is what we have here. That's what they did here. Before, they will now put this iron, then do the proper cast. After the sand cementing, they will now add raw cement on top of this sand cement before the iron, then do the casting. This is the process they are applying to construct this road. You will see the process of how they add the raw cement on top of this sand cementing. You see it as progress on the video. They are currently working on that at the front. So you see it, just keep watching. As you can see, everything is properly done, and that machine there does the you know, excavation work. So this is it, guys. What continues? This is my uh, train station. As you can see, vehicles are applying the, um, the service lane, while the tow lane is under construction. So guys, after the, um, the sand cementing, as you can see, right here, all this is the sand and cement mixed together, and this part, this is the casting. Well, I don't think this is called casting. Okay. After this, this is not the final stage. After this, they put the iron and finally put the last casting where we call it expressway. So I don't know what it's called. I stand to be corrected in the comment section. The casting that has been done on top of the uh, cement and sand. So this is the casting. And as you can see, we have workforce going on there. Also, they also take care of this flower area, these uh, uh, green areas. It's cleared up. I am hoping to see them make um, good use of this particular place uh, so and the gutters as well everything is cleared up as you can see I don't, I don't know if you can see very well the gutters are cleared up and this is the uh, casting going on here so this is when the men are to work that, that's the process of which they are yeah, conducting yeah, Baba Chama. so guys so this is what we have going on there so as you can see these are men at work and this is what they are doing here at the Matu area of the project, shout out to the Lagos State Government, shout out to all Nigerians. So please do your part, let's all keep our city flourishing. So, you can 
see this are men as well. This is a process of adding the raw cement before the iron. Yeah, raw cement means with little sand. This is how they add it to the sand cementing that I've showed you earlier. And this is what they do before they put the iron, then do the proper casting. Yeah, so this is it. guys thank you for coming forward with me on this part of the video please do let me know details you think i didn't capture and let me know if you want me to capture this video when it's all completed let me know in the comment section and please don't watch and go please subscribe to the channel it's a way to also see our future updates and please, I'm asking for it too much, but do it for me, guys. Support this channel by buying us coffee. Yeah, this is a way to help us fund our next project. Thank you so much. I remember your boy, OZ.